Peace. My name is Haven Bullets, and you know, I haven't been feeling good for the last couple of days, so I haven't been uploading. But I felt I could do this video. This is nice and easy. I could do this. It won't take no editing. Just record it and just upload it. And I wanted to say, family, I got more books than the whole Aboriginal community in this stack. They always say slavery, there's no proof, and all this, all this, and all that. But they never show any books about how this, where they're getting this Aboriginal information from. They got no books, no paperwork, no nothing. Well, I'm just going to show you a few of my slave books and where I get my information. Because they always say, oh, you don't get... You, where did you get your information from? Oh, it's fake or whatever the case may be. Well, we're going to go through this. One right here, as you can see, family. This is when I was a slave. It's a collection of slave narratives. This right here, if I wasn't feeling, I wasn't feeling under the weather, I would just read it to you right now, which debunks the whole notion that nobody ever said they was from Africa. Because there's a narrative where a slave talks about his grandparents from Africa. This book right here, American Uprising, The Untold Story of America's Largest Slave Revolt. This is a good book. I like this book. I might do a video talking about it one day. This book right here, because I wasn't gonna put this book up here because this is about Canada. And yes, Canada had slaves, but you know, they say they from Turtle Island. So, you know, Turtle Island is America and Canada together. So I said, I can include this book. And it's the hanging of, I think her name is supposed to be pronounced Angelique or Angelique or something like that. It's a French name. I don't know how to pronounce it. The untold story of Canadian slavery and the burning of old Montreal. This is a slave woman. She was burnt because she burnt down basically old Montreal. This book right here, The Origin of American Slavery, Freedom and Bondage in the English Colonies. If I had the time right now, I would read out this book to debunk all these pictures that they be showing you, these drawings that they be showing you about how the African, Native Americans look African. This book explains why that is, and I would read it to you, but I'll do it a little bit later, hurt their feelings a little bit later. This book right here is Ajama, I don't know how to say the name, and his son. This is about a, a father and son who was captured from Africa and sold into slavery in Jamaica. The Slave Dancer. This is a book about a little boy who was who was hired to be a slave dancer. Not gonna give too much away. And for all you don't know, a slave dancer is the person who plays music on a slave ship for the slaves dance to. And they did that to keep the slaves in shape. Cause I don't know where this story came from where people think that slaves were planked the whole ride. No book ever said that. I mean, no history accredited book ever made that claim that's just a claim people are making because they don't understand slavery and they're doing lookership well that's what a slave dancer is the slave ship a human history because they talked about it wasn't those slave ships with the slave ships well read a book about a slave ship um i was debating whether to put this book up here too but i said i should do it because w.e du bois was a slave and he wrote this book at the time when a lot of ex-slaves were still alive. So The Soul of Black Folks by W.E.B. Du Bois, The Greatest Slave Escape. This is a book which has four slave narratives in it. The Incidents in the Life of a Slave Girl, Harriet Jacobs. I'm probably never gonna read this book because it's probably, I heard this is a very brutal, honest slave narrative and I don't think I will ever be mentally prepared to read this. Narratives of Sojourner Truth. Uncle Tom's Cabin, Narratives of the Life of Frederick Douglass, an American Slave, The Day Freedom Died, The, the Colfax Massacre. This happened towards the ending of Reconstruction. A lot of a lot of slaves died. I mean, a former slaves, because they was free at this time. The rest I will kill. This is the story of a guy named William Tillman. He refused to be a slave. They tried to do the 12 years of slave to him. He wasn't going for it. He st I think this was the one who stole the sla who, who stole the ship that they tried to um, sail him down south on. And, he's, and he just stole it and sailed away on his own way. 
I think this is the one because it was a bunch of dudes like that. Speaking of 12 Years a Slave, 12 Years a Slave, I really like this copy that I got because it's like, as you can see the pages, it looks like the pages of a book that would have been written at that time. I read this one, basically gave me PTSD. The Half Has Never Been Told, Slavery and the Making of American Capitalism. I definitely recommend you read this book if you're not going to read it. I'll probably put a link in the description box below where you can watch a lecture about it or just watch the guy's interview about it. No one, he definitively proves how slavery built America, which we already knew, but he actually puts numbers and stuff to it. I've seen people try to debunk this book and they all fail until they just have to just leave it alone because they don't want to give it too much publicity. Also, Two Song of a Tour, A Revolutionary Life, it's about Haiti. A Massacre in Memphis, the race riot that shocked the nation one year after the Civil War. This was another massacre. This one took place a year after the Civil War. It was sad, 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 sad. Gateway to Freedom, the hidden history of the Underground Railroad, the Slaves Gamble, Choosing Sides in the War of 1812, the Slave Ship, this book right here is a good book. I'm reading it right now. And I would use this book also in the future sometime when I'm going to make another video, a couple of videos in depth about the true role and nature of quote unquote African selling Africans into slavery. The Walls for Reconstruction. This book starts during slavery goes into the Civil War and then it deals with just Reconstruction. It's a very good book. I'm reading it now. The Midnight Midnight Rising, John Brown and the Raid that started the Civil War. That's good. The American Slave Coast, a history of the slave breeding industry. As you can see, let me, see, let, me, let me turn this to the side. Oh, man. As you can see, this is a big, big book. I haven't started trying to read this yet. Oh, this is a big book. Probably read it a little bit. Probably try to read it starting next year. Maybe at the end of this year. Who knows? 500 Miles to Freedom. This is a book. It's an interesting book. I don't want to really even go into it too much. I don't want to give away the story. But as you see, family, I showed you about 25 books. And I want to show you something else. My bookshelf. As you can see, I just showed you 25 books. But if you look at my bookshelf, it hardly looks like any books are missing. None of you abos and none of you other niggas who think y'all know what y'all talking about can't fuck with me. I actually read these books and I got more books. None of y'all niggas can't fuck with me and I got more books on the way. And oh yeah, shout out to everybody who has donated to me because as you can see right here, one of my bookshelves has gotten broken. I don't know how it got broken, but the money that you sent me, I will be able to use to get this fixed faster than I, I would have been able to get it fixed. Thank you to everybody who donated to me. Make sure you you leave your email when you, when, um, when you donate to me so I can know to contact you, so I can thank you. And you can leave your screen name on YouTube too so I know who you are when you comment. And that's pretty much all I have to say about this. Like, share, subscribe. Um, I have more books than the whole Aboriginal community combined. I just showed you 25 books, more than 25 books. No abo can't show you. They can't show you three books. I showed you 25. They can't show you three. And real books at that. I'm going to leave this video here. Like, share, subscribe. Um, And I might do a video going through this whole bookshelf one day. And on that note, family. Peace.